Little Devil is a game about FIP, I'm guessing the name is. I'm, I'm apolog I apologise if I pronounced that wrong. <clears throat> An awkward vulture kid who has a crush on his classmate, Blair. After Blair goes missing for a week, FIP uh, finds a decomposing hand in the middle of the woods and he's almost certain it belongs to her. When FIP brings her back to life, he is sure they will become friends and arrest her killer, but Blair has a different idea. Man, I was confused before I before I read that, and I'm even more confused now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Little Devil. I've got absolutely no idea what this game is. I downloaded it ages ago and completely forgot about it. I left it in my folder and I just completely forgot about it. And then when I was looking for a file earlier today, I stumbled upon this and I thought, okay, we'll play this today. I've got no idea what it is. I downloaded it ages ago, got no clue. <coughs> my name is Fit. I'm a high schooler at the South Draco High. I have a huge crush on one of the girls there. Her name is Blair, which I must say is a weird name for a girl, but never mind. She's the prettiest girl in the whole world. The thing is, she went missing a week ago, and no one knows where she went. It's like she vanished out of thin air. I guess I consider myself a vulture because I go on scavengers for bones a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's a hobby, I suppose. Since that's a big hobby of mine, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that I found a human hand in the woods. I would be surprised to hear that, because most people find like the bones of a, a badger or something. Not the bones of a human, but never mind. The nails are painted pink, with, with pink and blue nail polish, so there's no doubt that it's Blair's hand. Now I'm no expert on sadism, but I'd say I have a 50-50 chance shot of bringing her back as a ghost. <laughs> okay. For starters, you're not talking about sadism, you're talking about necromancy. Sadism is taking pleasure in the suffering of others, necromancy is bringing people back to life. And I don't know what world we're living in, but apparently necromancy is the norm. But we're to the point where high schoolers can do it. So that's exactly what I plan on doing. Okay, it's something to do with these hands, I suppose. I hope this doesn't summon, o summon any weirdo demons. <coughs> me, 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 mamo, retro, oh dear, yo. Fiero dier maro rotio spitaria seri omo seo bo wo. The ground is shaking. I don't think you need me to read that one out for you. It's working. Uh, where am I? I'm glad it worked. Um, sorry to kill the mood, but care to explain what's going on? I was having a great time in the hot tubs of hell. Oh, sorry. I'm Fib. I brought you back to life so we could put your killer in jail. Okay. Hold on. I should change. I've forgotten how screamy hell can get on these uh, um, Wednesday afternoons. Ah, there we go. Okay, I've got an idea that I may like better. Oh, by all means. I've decided while I'm up here, I should get some petty revenge. What do you mean by that exactly? Well, I'm thinking I could slit their throats. Very funny. I'm not joking. I'm going to kill them. I'm going to kill them all. How about we don't do that? Listen to it. <laughs> it's only fun doing that. <laughs> oh, sheesh. I really shouldn't have played a game that I know nothing about when I'm deliriously tired. Oh, gosh. You dragged me up here in the first place. Okay. Okay, why not? Let's murder some folks. Let's go! Who are we going to murder? This is this game. This game is adorable and it has lovely music. Just listen to this. It's lovely. It's so nice. I love its pieces. Well, here we are. Ah, oh, school. It's been like years since I've been here. Blair, it's been a week. Oh, shut up. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. Anyway, we need to find a way to isolate them. Them? Blair? Yes. Just be exact. How many people do you want to kill? Oh, let's see, um, one, two, uh, four people? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I've skipped the, uh, the, the dialogue. FOUR PEOPLE?! Yeah, I'm a popular kid. <laughs> this is more than I bargained for. How did you manage to screw around with four people? Oh, we get some story time. Yay. It all started a few days ago. How can it have all started a few days ago if a week ago you died? It must have started more than a week ago. 
Uh, honestly, uh, that's a crash course in typical mechanics for you. <clears throat> Some friends and I got together for a small picnic. Everyone was sitting there on these super comfy blankets I brought just for the occasion. Oh gosh, I'm really bad at names. Um, Mako we're going for. Um, got this new ugly boyfriend and she was gushing all over him. Yeah, I kind of see what you mean. With the whole ugly bit and all that gushing bit. Uh, this is Token. Please tell me that nobody has named their child Token in real life. Isn't he cute? Look at his widow face. I don't particularly want to. I've seen enough of it already and I've only been there for five minutes. <coughs> PDA. Gross. Well, I don't really agree with that, but never mind. I mean, sure. This guy is a boozer, but Mako seems to really like him. Anyway, we're all supposed to bring something to the picnic. So, um... Joel brought the food, Calypso brought the drinks, I brought the blankets, and Miko brought token. I as a token of her affection. I'm sorry, that was, that was the worst joke I've told in weeks. <coughs> anyway, when you bring food like that, I feel really guilty. Oh Blair, don't worry about it. I always handle the stuff, you know. Joe's mum wrong the butcher shop that sells really expensive meat. Because the meat was so pricey, she only had a few years of experience. Joe was a bit on edge about cooking. We were all there to comfort her, though. Truly support, but never mind. <coughs> I'm sure you'll do great. Right? Yeah, you seem to know. You seem to know. You seem to know what you're doing. Thanks, guys. I'm not that close with Caleb, so she's. It's nice to finally get to know them better. Anyone want some drinks? I raised a bottle of Coke in one hand and red cups in the other. Oh yeah, hit me up. Ah, Coke. My dad got arrested for that. You're so cute. Oh, gosh. Uh, the worst, do you know what the worst part is? I've met people like this in real life who were mad about people like this. I've had to put up with them in real life, so putting up with them here is even worse. Yikes. I'll have some too, please. Of course. We all sit down with our cups while Joe works hard on the barbecue. Some time passes. And Joe asks uh, for me to pass around the plates, and I'm always there to help. Here, please be careful. Don't worry, I've got... What happened? Gasp! Uh, there is food everywhere. Joe is completely shocked. She looks like she's about to cry. What the hell? I didn't mean to, it was a complete mistake. Joe starts crying. She walks off with her hands to her temple. It's probably best that I leave her alone. Clips her hands to catch up with her and give support. Man, the vibe is real off here. Oh, gosh, can you speak properly, for goodness sake? What is it about you people not being able to speak properly? Really? What's your deal? It was an accident. What am I supposed to do? Got any suggestions? Because I'm all ears. Yes, I do. Sheesh. Wow, 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 wow. Don't talk to him like that. Or what? <laughs> She grabs one of Joa's knives. Mako has stabbed a steak knife into my gut. Um, things are getting a bit fuzzy. Well, things just got an awful lot clearer for me. My mind woke up. So that's it? What? No, shut up. Mako thought I was dead, but joke's on her. I was just unconscious. Oh, gosh. Is Blair okay? She has ketchup all over her. Go to the car. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Now shut up and do what I tell you to do. There's mints in there. Oh, yay! Mint! I can't even figure out how to put my hat on properly, but I've got a mint that'll make me happy. <laughs> it cleared my breath after all of that I'd spent my morning doing. I'm sorry, right. <laughs> See, I can't say these things in front of real people like this, so I have to say them in front of facsimiles of them instead. <laughs> I've got to call Joe and Clip so they'll know what to do with whatever the situation is. Oh yeah, because a butcher and a drink specialist really know how to deal with dead bodies. You need to get back here right now. So that's how I got here. Yeah, I can imagine you'd be, you'd be slightly befuddled. Right. Here's what we're going to do. We'll cut here, and here, straight down the middle. I don't know human anatomy that well, but I'm going to chop her like a pig. 
I don't, I, I mean, I haven't been on a picnic in my life, and I've only read about ones that happened like hundreds, hundreds of years ago. Is this what happens at the average picnic these days? Is this some modern new murderous form of picnic? Where, oh, you know, you're out with the lads and you're having your barbecue and then you're throwing some steak knives and then you're chopping up some bodies and then you're hiding them in the woods. You know, it's just your average high school years. My giddy aunt, no wonder school was boring. We didn't have any murderous picnics where I came from. Pass me the knife and my meat saw. Okay, where are we starting? I'm going for her limbs first, then we'll gut her. I know it's not ideal, but how else are you going to hide the evidence? In a bag! Dip her! Dunk her in acid. Bury her underneath an animal corpse. Chuck her off a cliff. Set fire to her. There are a million more efficient ways of doing this than cutting her into small pieces. She's right. Smarter to spread the parts out. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> we can hide her head in one of the blankets. Okay, position of like... Knife. Saw. Knife. Saw. Knife. Um... I don't think she's dead. What? You've cut me arms off and I'm still standing? Where? Do something! Okay, I didn't mean that. And that's when I died, for real. This music is reminding me of something, and I cannot for the life remember what it is. Give me a minute and I'll think. I know what it is, when goats join cults. When goats join cults, that's what this music is reminding me of. And that's when I died real like. What happened to your body? If they did as they said, everything's probably scattered around Draco. Draco is a pretty big city, I doubt it'll be easy to find all her parts. Well, she doesn't seem to need them, she seems to have plenty of fully functional parts as it is. But that doesn't matter, I can live without it. I want to get back at them. Okay, what's the plan? You're gonna sit in one of the stalls in the girls' bathroom until I tell you to lunge. No, I ain't! You may not have you may have nothing to live for because you're dead, but I've got a lot to live for and I've got a reputation to not uphold because I don't have one. I am not going into the girls' bathroom. What? I can't do that. I'm a boy. Also, I can't just kill people. What would I do with the bodies? You summoned me. I came from hell. I can take things back and forth. Right, okay, fuck, fuck. How will I know when it's one of them? I'll peek through the store and let you know, okay? Okay. <laughs> this is not how I was expecting to spend my day. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is intense. It's been 20 minutes, so I'm starting to get restless. Are you sure someone will walk in here? One day. I know you're a demon and you probably don't need food, but I mean, like, I do. You know, eventually I'm gonna starve. The door creaks open. Blair isn't making a sound. We close. No one of interest, it seems. Hurry up, boys! Sorry! The door creaks open once more. I don't think so. Well, it deserves to win. Of course it does. But people don't take their stuff seriously. Yeah, shame. Ugh. Hopefully two people. Blair doesn't. That's two of them. Two of them? That's one too many! Oh, shut up. It's Calypso and Joa. It'll be easier if we take out Calypso first. I'm not sure about that. They look pretty strong. Don't overthink this. Just hurry up. I'm not sure if I should trust Blair or my instinct. Um, I can't save. At least I don't think I can. Um, can I? I can save. Excellent. Good. And that means we can kill people with reckless abandon. I don't need to worry about it. Okay, let's go with the demon's advice. I guess a dead demon probably no. I mean, you know, she's got far more experience with death than I have. So we'll go with her advice and we'll kill Calypso. Fine. I creak the stall open. They both look over as I lunge at Calypso with the knife. Stab! I plunge the knife into their shoulder and they cry out in pain. My stomach! What's your deal? I show a stab with a pocket knife. She twists and turns the jagged blade just like it did to Calypso. Why are all these high school kids so well equipped with knives? They can throw them, they can stab them, they can twist them. It's weird. Calypso packs into the wall, grasping at the wound. I turn my head towards where Blair was standing, but she isn't there anymore. I fall to the ground, coughing. Wake up! You have to wake up! First Blair, and now this! I knew it was that weird kid. 
I knew he killed her. You have to get out. We gotta get you to the nurse. The bad ending. <laughs> okay, so that was a bad ending. So um, the demon apparently doesn't know. Okay, what if we kill Joa first instead? Push the door open and stab my knife into Joa. That's not stabbing, that's slitting, but never mind. I slit open her throat, blood pouring all over my clothes. Some blood spurts out of the wounds and she sputters out a few words. Behind you! Calypso is trying to run to the door, but I shove them against the wall and stab them through the shoulder. They let out half a scream as I twist the knife deeper into their flesh. I cannot help but grit my teeth. Ew! There's blood! everywhere. This sucks. You've just committed a double homicide. I think we have more to worry about than a bit of blood. Oh, stop whining, you quick. You're not the one surrounded by blood and corpses. Oh, boo-boo the fool. I live in hell. And that's not the bad part. You'll get used to this after the third or fourth one. That's a lot of dead people. Fine, fine. Help me clear this up. You ask way too much of me. Okay. Good. Let's leave the portal open for now. Mika has gym this period, and she always skips. So where can we find her? There's an alley right behind the building. Alley's behind schools. Nothing good happens there. I bet she's smoking there or something. Well, that's probably the most innocuous thing that could happen. She seems to know a lot about her whereabouts. We can kill her there and then bring her to the stall. Okay, but what about the portal? How will we prevent someone from finding it? Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> a caution wet floor sign. You're a demon from hell that can summon a portal in order to dispose of dead bodies. Can you not make the portal go away for ten minutes while we get the next one? Plus I can lock it from the inside. Right, right, let, 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 let's go before anything else goes wrong. Blair and I walk to the alley on the spot maker. There she is, having a smoke like usual. Usual? How do you know so much about her schedule? Blair whips her head around. Friends can know friends' schedules, right? I don't know, I've never had one. A, that's depressing. B, I wouldn't really describe somebody who murdered you as a friend, but never mind. Of course you do, stupid. You've got me. Oh, that's so cute. I'm friends with a demon lady. That's lovely. Oh, we're all happy. What are you wearing? <laughs> you seem to be wearing a couple of tea towels and a piece of string fashion, I will never understand it. Someone there? <gasps> I think she heard us. Let me take this one. What? Why? Because I want to, and I'll move over. Again, I'm gonna save. Um, it seems like there's... Oh no, I didn't I didn't try the think it over option, so we'll go here now. We'll keep using these until we run out of saves. Okay, we'll see what happens. I mean, how do you kill a demon with a cigarette? Thank you, I appreciate it. I watch Blair turn the corner. The second she sees Mako, her mood, mood is completely off. Hello! What the hell? Blair, how are you? I had some help. Miko spots me hiding and grits her teeth. You! You don't even know what happened. Yes, he does. I told him! Everything? What else was there to tell him? You want me to go into detail about why you murdered me? I wouldn't count self defense as a murder, Blair. <laughs> self defense? I dropped a plate, and you think that's. Self-defense. It's not quite the definition of self-defense where I come from. You kind of already have to be in danger for that to happen. All I did was drop some meat on the ground. I didn't exactly stab you with a knife or pull a gun on you or draw a bow and arrow. <laughs> I didn't do any of that. I just dropped a plate. Come on, kids. We can do better than this. Bless different enough and lunges at Mako. This is exactly what I'm... Oh, that's a lot of blood. Don't you ever wonder why she's... Don't you ever wonder why everything she says sounds too good? Like she's using you for something? The thought hadn't really crossed my mind. Maybe I'm too trustworthy. <laughs> what do you mean, everything she said is too good to be true? She said, kill Calypso, and I did, and it got me killed. So I had to not listen to her. So as far as I'm concerned, you're talking utter rubbish. I'm not, I'm, I don't listen to a word you say. You're, you're a person that murdered my crush. I'm not interested in what you say. No, not really. You're a lost cause then. <laughs> I love the pacing of this game. Oh no, I've been stabbed. 
Have you ever considered the fact that some of the stuff she says to you is a bit too good to be true? No, not really. Oh, okay then. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love this game for pieces. <clears throat> Miko falls to the ground. She starts heaving up blood, and I don't think she has much, she has much long to live. Wait, I just thought of a really good idea. Grab her, let's head back to the stall. Now? But well, she's not even... Yeah, I know. Hurry. Blair grabs Miko's limp arms. I don't feel very good about this idea, but I take her legs anyway. With what? I'm not quite sure, because I don't seem to have any hands. Let's go. Blair drops Miko's li limp body against one of the stalls. I want her to suffer as much as possible. Take her phone out of her pocket. I do as she says. Look for Token's number and text him something... Alluring. Alluring. Yeah, something to make him come quick. Oh, gosh, I've got to write this. Um, this is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. And I haven't even done it yet. Um... Oh, sheesh. I really hope nobody who knows me in real life watches these videos, because it's going to be very embarrassing uh, if they do. This jolly music is not helping me think up in this way. Um... Oh, gosh. No, that's not it. Um, what is it? Is it that? No, it's that. That'll do. Oh, I feel ill already. Okay, done. Let me see. What did you... What? No, I'm not really experienced in this matter, alright? Oh dear, she needs the message to hunt a freshman stash if you want. Go. What? I don't even know what I mean. Yeah, 30 responds in 30 seconds. Okay, I don't think... Okay, fine. But at the same time, you're a popular, and I'm a nobody. I mean, of course you're going to know more about this than I do. This is not how I was expecting to spend my day. Oh, God. I feel so ill. Right, you wait by the door. Grab Token when he walks in. What are you going to do to him? Oh, you'll see. Oh, shit. I'm here. What the? Gotcha. I think it's time we wake our other friend up. <laughs> so she's coughing blood, but she's fine. I don't know how the physics, I don't know how medicine works in this land, but <laughs> I don't think they have any emergency responses. Everyone seems to survive until it's convenient. Hey Miko, wakey wakey. Good, you're still alive. Look who stopped by. Miko notices his token struggling in my arms. She doesn't speak. We only hear her soft whimpers. No. Blair lifts tokens top and starts making a long cut down his stomach. Oh, I thought she was doing something else for a minute then. Token screams into his sweatshirt and tries moving as much as possible. How has nobody heard us? We're in a public bathroom in a school on what I assume is a school day. How has somebody not heard all of this screaming yet? Anyway, every time he moves, Blair cuts deeper and deeper, but he's so terrified that he can't stop himself from flailing around. No, please! It's too late. Remember when you did this to me? Remember when I had no organs? You remember that? What? No response? Token goes limp in my arms. Blair, Token's not moving. Blair. And that's when I woke up. Just when I thought this game couldn't get any better, it somehow manages it. How many have you had this week? I also like how he wears clothing with his uh, general emotional state of the day written on it. <laughs> I can, that's, that's an idea I can get behind. How many of these nightmares? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I'll be like, I forget them, but I've been writing them down like you told me. Have you open minded here? Could these traumatic dreams come from your friends' perspectives? Have something to do with your parents? I suppose. These nightmares are affecting your sleep. We need to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I know. Uh, what do you think of your 
friend, of you and your friends present differently in these dream states? I mean, I guess it could be because of the transition. You mean the surgery? Transition? Like... Like that kind of transition? It might be something to do with that. How are you feeling, by the way, recovery-wise? Pretty good. It's refreshing. My arm hurts a lot, though. Oh, good! It's something to do with his arm. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Lots of things were sore for me for a while, but it always gets better. Yeah. Thanks, Catherine. Of course. True end. What is going on? <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> so I'm not really a weird awkward kid who brought my crush back from the dead to murder her murderers. I'm actually a weirdo with a drug addicted uncle who got put in prison, who's in therapy. What is going on? Okay, apparently that's the true ending. Um... Um... <laughs> okay, Let, let's go back to this one. What if I listen to her instead? I... Uh, before I can say anything, Miko's knees buckle and she falls to the ground. She begins coughing up blood. You were gonna say yes, you jerk. No, I wasn't. What's with the hesitation? It's just a lot to take in, alright? Today's been overwhelming. I discovered you were dead. I learned how to summon a demon. I then did summon a demon. I then summoned a demon who told me that hell wasn't actually very pleasant, apart from a happy hour. And then you told me a story about when you got murdered, which I must say for somebody that I care about is probably quite a traumatic thing to listen to. And then we went and murdered three people. To be honest with you, I'm a bit overwhelmed and I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I'm sorry. I can't get sentences out too quick. Overwhelming enough to betray me? Fine, be that way. Let's head back to the stall. Okay, why do we get the impression Patrick gets stabbed? Man, she's heavy. Okay, now we just need to get... Hello? Uh, Blair? Blair's face quickly turns into a sneer. Don't move! Okay. Token. I don't recognize that voice anywhere. Ah, huh. so I wasn't dreaming. No! Where were you hiding? I'm in the big stall. I swear I saw Miko walking with you. Oh yeah, she's right here with me. Oh really? Yep! You can come see you if you'd like. Oh, that'd be nice. What is going on? He seems so enthusiastic. I almost feel bad. Stall creaks open and I grit my teeth. Wait, where's Miko? Now! <laughs> Token stumbles forward, falling onto the floor. He lands right in front of the portal and his eyes open wide with fear. Miko! Blair walks right in behind him. What a bad place to land. Blair kicks Token's head forward and he falls straight through the portal into the pile of bodies. Well, bad for you, but very convenient for me. Blair claps her hand and the portal closes halfway. That's my cue to go. Now? Uh, duh. What do you think was going to happen? You'd w- <laughs> She's just like discussing policies on the internet again. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't imply anything like a thank you and a hug would have been more than satisfactory. All right. After that, I never tried summoning Blair. Everyone was labelled as missing and all of Draco started to worry. Sometimes I questioned if everything really happened like I remember it. Your mind does that sometimes. And your sanity slips away. Neutral ending. Okay. So true ending, you're in therapy. Bad ending, you get insulted beyond all measure and then basically told to go away. Okay, um, what, what was this choice? What if I refuse and say, no, I'm going to murder her. I have a bad feeling about this. Ugh, whatever. Does this change anything? I turn to corner and make contact with Miko. Hello. Sorry, do I know you? Well, no, but um, you knew my friend. Blair? Oh yeah, tragic what happened. You don't sound very upset. I'm not. We have a lot more history than people think. Oh, I wasn't aware. That's because there's nothing to talk about. I look to see Blair standing behind me. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Oh, only you could come back from the dead. And I'm the liar? Yeah, sure, we can all say that. I'm just stating facts. Man, it is like, it is like discussing politics on the internet. 
Well, maybe it's not up to you to decide. Miko looks back at me. Have you had a gut feeling that something is wrong? Maybe she doesn't love you? Maybe it's not real? No, I don't want to think about it. Fib, think about it. She's lying. Maybe she doesn't love you. I didn't imply that she did love me. We're just here with a business arrangement. I just wanted to help her get a bit of revenge for the whole murderization that you caused. Okay, is this exactly the same decision as this one? I'm assuming it is. Um, so we'll say that we don't listen to her. Will we actually be the same? I don't believe you. What? Blair looks out a sigh of relief. He doesn't believe you because you're a liar. No, I'm not. Getting defensive? You little... Ugh. Blair pulls the knife out of my pocket and stabs Miko dead in the centre of her chest. Blood spewing out faster every second. My chest. Sorry about you. Oh, I'll chew you. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. This game is a bit more um, verbal than I predicted it was going to be. I don't usually have stuff like this on the channel, but hey-ho, here it is. Um, she collapses to the ground. She just stares at her for a second before turning back to me. Okay, let's move to the stories. Why are you looking at me right now? Spit it out. Are you okay? What? You just seem upset. As if we didn't just kill your arch enemy or something. No. It's nothing weird, though. How long is this corpse already? Okay, okay, okay. I'm not convinced she's telling the truth, but there's no use in prying. After we get back from the alley, I noticed a change in Blair's mood. We throw Miko's body into the portal, but Blair doesn't look relieved. She just watches it fall down into nothingness. After a minute of staring, she takes a seat and lets her legs hang over the edge. I thought this would be more fulfilling. What do you mean? I was so excited to throw her in and get this all over with. Same with Joe and Calypso. And I feel a little bit guilty. Blair swings her legs back and forth. Why? I... She looks down to the portal. I might have lied about how I died. Wait. I know I've said this twice already, but every time I think I've got this game sussed, it just slaps another race down on the table. No, not at all. They still killed me and chopped me up, but it wasn't because of Joe and Lunch falling. Then what really happened? Well... A few months ago, before I died, Miko asked me out, and I said, yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't that great. We would always get into arguments, and one day we both got so fed up with it that we just ended the whole thing. So there was a strain between you. Basically, flash forward to the picnic, Don't tell me he is the strain, because that would honestly be insulting. Um, this is Toka. Yeah, 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 nobody cares about him. We never argue, it's so peaceful. I know she's saying that just to spite me. Does she know it hurts my feelings? I still had feelings for her, though, even though I knew it was wrong. Anyways, before we ate, I went to the bathroom near the picnic area. When I walked in, Miko was in there doing her makeup. Hello, do you think this lip colour looks good on me? I may literally not be able to post this. I, I don't know how strict YouTube's terms of service are. I may literally not be able to do this. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's kind of cute. She's got a boyfriend and everything. I know! That's why even worse when she did it back. I think she didn't mean to, but it just kind of happened. Then she got all angry. Ugh, really? What's your deal? I didn't mean to! I've been over this for months. It was just an accident. It just happened, and we have to forget about it, right? Forget? There's nothing else to do, unless you've got some other suggestion. <laughs> Apparently the suggestion is to gut her. And that's when she stabbed me. Wow. Yeah, I was really mad at everyone at the beginning for this, and now I just feel like dirt. I don't want to drag anyone else in it. I think we'll leave Token alone. Really? Yeah, he doesn't deserve to be killed for not doing anything. I don't want what happened to me to be repeated. I'm glad you think that way. Yeah, me too. But I went back into hell afterwards. She promised to visit me as long as I keep the portal open. A few weeks later, she rose back up through my floorboards and we were able to catch up. She visits pretty frequently now. It's nice to finally have a friend. And my soul. I had to sell her that to some of them. <laughs> so cheap. <laughs> well, at least it's in safe keepings. Good, Amy. Oh, that was so cute. Oh, that's adorable. 
Oh, so apparently then this decision is different. What if I don't listen to her? I don't believe you. What? No, hang on a minute. That's not what I meant to do. What have I done? Yeah. No, 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 no. I want to load. Load. Should I want to load? Uh, yes, I want to load. Right. Listen to her. Right. I just want to know what she's going to say. Well, the truth is, there is no truth. We're both bad people. You're just too dumb to see it. The world grows foggy. Bam. Oh. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? Okay, then. Um, what if we go back here? What if I think over instead? I'm hesitant to strike. I might have to overthink this. What are you waiting for? Just go. She gives me a push with her hand. I bang the door open and panic, and I slide the knife through the air. <laughs> I slit open Joe's throat. She lets out some, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Blood goes out, but Calypso isn't there. Oh, what? I can feel myself passing out. Hope Joe won't mind borrowing her pocket knife. She's a little bit, um, dead, so I can only assume it's alright. You're predictable. It seems summoning ghosts isn't really your forte. Oh well, I'm glad you found the found the hand I put in one of your scavenging sites. What? Oh, isn't it obvious? I planned the whole thing. Well, not the death part, but everything after that, yeah. You know, dragging someone's body into your car, pretending to throw her limbs everywhere, only to store in your freezer after sewing her back together. It's a lot of work. Anyway, thanks for doing the hard part for me. Show us the pocket knife above the red. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. You can come out now. Hey. That sure was something. It certainly was. Did he give you any trouble? No, he was just extremely sweaty. Yeah, I hate boys. Me too. It's hard to find the right one, you know. Not really. I don't date men. Oh? Yeah. Sheesh. Um, I hope you don't think me keeping your body is weird or anything. Oh, not really. I'm... There goes a white grin. I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. I'm glad we can agree on something. She stops smiling and I start to blush. You're not too bad yourself. Thanks. Yep, I saw that coming. Good ending. How is that the good ending? I got betrayed by my demon crush and stabbed. How is that the... Ow. Ow, I just smacked my desk into my hand. I mean the other way around. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah. I do not consider that the, the canonically good ending. As far as I'm concerned, the canonical ending to Little Devil, and I will fight anybody over this, is the bit where she confesses what really happened and why she really got killed, and then we live happily ever after with me apparently having sold my soul to her in order to summon her, which um, has a kind of weird undertow that we're not going to talk about because there's been enough of that kind of talk in this game anyway. Wow. This has been an experience and a half, and then some on top of that. This game went everywhere. I don't know if I got all the endings. I think it says there's seven endings. I definitely got two good endings, a neutral ending, the true ending, and a couple of bad endings. So maybe I got all of them, maybe I only got six out of them. I'm not entirely sure, but I... I, 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 where are the credits for this game? Um, yeah, here we are. Right, okay. I mean, I'm confused beyond all measure, but at the same time, I really love this. I always like doing a visual novel. I find them really fun. Um, it's, it's a lovely change from, from the usual uh, bits and pieces that we do. This one was weird. It pulled me in every direction. Like... I, w I was in her favour, and I wasn't in her favour. I wanted her to do well, I wanted her... I, I've been on all sides of the war at this point. I've wanted no one to win, I've wanted her to win, I've wanted the, the murderers to win, I've wanted myself to win. I've just... I've, and, and I don't know which ending's real. It says the true ending, rather than the good ending, and the one where tokens in therapy, but at the same time... I mean, is that really the real ending? I'm just really confused. I don't know what the r really real ending is, but this was wild. I loved this to death. The writing was really good. The pacing was nice. The dialogue was pretty good. The character designs were adorable. The music's fantastic. I really like the music in this game. It's adorable beyond all measure. And it's just... It's 
crazy. It's just crazy. I don't get it. I don't get what I've spent the last 41 minutes and 12 seconds of my life doing, but I'm proud of the last 41 minutes and 15 seconds. Oh, sheesh. Okay, I'm off to go and have a long, hard think about stuff and life in general, if I'm honest, because this has been an experience. So, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me this evening on this... whatever this is. Look after each other. And if somebody snogs you, don't murder them in a bathroom. And if somebody drops your burgers, definitely don't murder them. Don't murder them anywhere. And if you're gonna bury, if you're gonna dispose of a body, please do it better than these people did. Because honestly, I don't want you people getting arrested for murder. Because honestly, my audience is more enough as it is. I don't need you all going into prison. <laughs> Thank you all very much for joining me this evening. Look after each other, and good night.